Hey guys, what's up? This is Akriti and in today's video, I'll show you how you can deploy your website using Netlify for free. Let's begin. The first step is to go to sign up for Netlify. And here you will have many options to sign up with. I would suggest to sign up with the GitHub if you have your code on GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket, wherever you have your code on. So my code is on GitHub, so I'm choosing this option. Since I have already signed up with GitHub, so it will directly take me to my Netlify dashboard. Second step is to commit our code on the GitHub or wherever you want to. I'm using GitHub. So I'll just go to create new option and I'll create a new repository. Here I'm going to type in the most relevant name, which is movie search website. It matches with uh, what I'm going to actually deploy. Description, I'm going to leave it blank and this will be public so that the code is accessible to everyone. I'm definitely going to have a readme file and uh, rest everything looks good. I'm just going to click create repository. So now next step is to commit the actual code. So here I have the main.css and main.html which I'm going to commit. So I'll just simply drag and drop these files here. Okay, so these two files have been uploaded. I'll just write the commit changes, which is going to be initial commit. And I'm just committing it to the main branch. Next step is to go back to Netlify, click on sites, then click on add new site and on import an existing project. Now, since we have our code on GitHub, we are going to select this option. It will do some authorization. Just go with the flow. Here, search for your repository. In my case, it was movie search website. Just click on that. And uh, I'm just going to keep the configurations as it is. I'm just going to click the deploy movie search website. Okay. So it's in the building stage now. Let's wait for post processing step to complete. Since we need to make sure that all these steps are green and complete. The steps are now complete. Let's quickly see the link. Currently it says page not found. The reason being that we have multiple files here. We have CSS, we have HTML, we have readme file. And because of this, Netlify is getting confused which file to direct to. So we need to create a redirect file and specify that we have to open main.html file in it. So let's quickly do that. So you have to create underscore redirect. And write this code. Save this. Here main.html is the main file. This can change according to your project. So I'll just commit this again. I'll just simply drag and drop the redirects file and write in the commit changes. Click the commit changes. And we have the file here. Again, we need to deploy it again. So I'm just going to type in retry with latest branch commit. So all these steps are now completed. Let's quickly see the link which has been generated. Okay, so this looks fine. So anyone with this link can access this project now. Now this link will also support the live update. Let's quickly see that how. Here it is just movie search right now. I'm going to change it to movie search website. and commit it to the repository. And I'm just simply going to refresh it now. Okay, so this movie search has now changed to movie search website. 
So Netlify deployment supports the live update as well. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching it. Don't forget to subscribe.